Lovely. Okay, so fantastic. Thank you so much for joining everybody. It really is absolutely delightful to see you. Um, today, I'm actually joined by Selma. Selma Studer. She is a very um, a very precious, very precious to us and to many other people as well, of course, um, CMA member. And Selma has been with us for a while and she teaches and, and, and heals people through work with sound and so on. So I want to say, Selma, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to switch to speaker view. Because I would very much like it if you could, uh, let me put you on speaker view there. That's it, lovely. And I'm also going to pin uh, your video uh, so that uh, we make sure that, uh, you know, you don't sort of get kind of navigated away from. So Selma, please please introduce yourself and uh, and if you can explain, you know, what we're doing today and, and how we're doing it and how the day actually goes. Sure, thank you, Janie. It's really a pleasure to be here and I'm very grateful for the opportunity and nice to see all our fellow CMA members here. Um, so today you're in for a sound bath, specifically a gong bath. I, I mostly work with gongs. So it's really an experience, you know, you're often in healing mode, you're working with your clients, and this is a chance for you to just receive for once. And it's really um, a gift of appreciation for, for all that you do. Uh, so we'll start out with a bit of an introduction, of course, before we get into the sound, but it just think of it as a gift, a chance to do nothing, a chance to just be with yourself and with the community here together. Fantastic. That's absolutely great. Selma, do we actually need any special equipment at all? I did I did tell everybody in the invitation to make sure they've got some, you know, some sort of way of listening. And I know that Lauren's got her headset on, um, but I've got I've got mine. Is there anything that we need in particular? Or is, is that it really? Yes, great question. So this is quite important to have the best experience to ideally wear headphones. Right. If you don't have headphones, then connect to a Bluetooth speaker. Right. So really anything other than your laptop speakers. Okay. And hopefully you're also all on the desktop app, the Zoom app, as opposed to the mobile phone, because um, the mobile phone sometimes distorts things. It's just not as consistent. So headphones, Zoom desktop app, and if you have a wired connection, that helps, but not necessary. Fantastic. That's absolutely lovely. So, and the other thing I wanted to ask is, do you want people to keep their cameras on or would you, or can they turn them off? What's best yeah. for you, Selma? question. This is really all about comfort. So of course, it's always up to, you know, individual preferences. It's nice to see all of your faces when we start with the chat at the beginning. But if you want to turn it off once we head into the session, totally understand that and would welcome that. Yeah. Um, and I see many of you sitting up. Another tip on um, heading into the experience, it's nice to actually take the opportunity to lie back and relax. So if you have a spot on your couch or on your bed or somewhere, you know, that can really enhance the experience. It's different from kind of more traditional meditation where you might be seated. So if that feels right to you, you know, grab grab a spot somewhere to relax. Lovely. Thank you so much. I'm going to mute myself in that case uh, so that you don't get interrupted. And um, please take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you, Janie, again. And nice to be with all of you. I'm just going to take a moment. I always like to scroll through when there's more than one page just to kind of pick up on, on who's here and acknowledge all of you. I'm really appreciative that you've decided to spend your Friday here together. Um, again, my name is Selma Studer. I'm the founder of Gong. It's a sound healing concept that I started in London. I started it in 2018. Uh, before that, I had many years in the corporate world, so that's kind of where I got my professional, um, you know, professional training. But I always felt that there was something missing. I'm sure many of you can relate with that as well. And I wanted to do something that I really felt more connected to. And um, at the same time, everyone around me was kind of suffering with all these heavy things, you know, burnout and depression and anxiety. And uh, I felt strongly, often they would come to me and kind of share things with me and I just really wanted to help people. And then I stumbled on this technique of sound healing and sound meditation while I was on a yoga retreat in Thailand. And actually I was really just there for the yoga. I wasn't that deep into my meditation practice at the time. I was kind of more into the, you know, the fitness aspects of yoga and, and all of that. But there was something on the schedule called the gong bath. And I was like, that sounds, that sounds interesting. Let's, let's go for it. Um, and it was this amazing experience. Afterwards, I felt like I had just slept for, you know, a thousand years. I woke up crystal clear, really sharp, and I thought, wow, that was powerful. And so when I got back to London, resumed my life, um, I saw my local yoga studio that there was a gong bath again, and I was like, oh, let's, let's give it a go. 
And what I noticed is that it was almost more powerful in the middle of, you know, busy city life, stressful job, all of this. It just cleared the slate for me. It was just an, like a hard reset. And so that got me thinking, like, you know, maybe this is one of those things that can help people if only it were more accessible and it were kind of packaged, if I can use that word, in a more accessible way. I think a lot of people have associations of gongs or even the word healing, you know, with things that might be good for them, but they might not even go there because of those those words that carry weight. And so I thought, well, you know, let's let's see if I can leverage my corporate experience, understanding, you know, professionals in that space and what might appeal to them and bring that into this world of sound healing. And that's really what I've been dedicating this, um, this venture to for the past few years. So when I started out, I bought a gong, I invited some friends over and it kind of just, you know, grew from there. I was very fortunate that I had a space in London that I was living in that I turned into a studio. <laughs> so for Two years, I operated a gong studio in the middle of central London. We had space for 12 people on the floor. And that was incredible because the whole concept was to allow people, or to give people the space to pop in for 30 minutes at their lunch break or after work or in the mornings. So where before gong bath was this beautiful experience with a lot of ritual that you might have once a month at a yoga studio. And that was what I was kind of looking to change. Um, obviously respecting the ritual and, and the, that beautiful experience, but in a way there's space for both that and the 30 minute lunchtime gong bath. And what I noticed is that sound was really helpful for people who are quite active mentally and might struggle to meditate in more traditional ways, in silence or without stimulation, because when you think about it, we're always being stimulated and that's why meditation is so good for us, because it's a chance to just you know, not be with that, but that's hard. <laughs> and so if we want to create a bridge, if you will, into, you know, meditation and in, into deeper states of concentration and introspection, then sound is really helpful for that. And I know that many of you probably all already know a lot of things that I'm saying, so I do want to be respectful of that. Um, but in case anyone hasn't experienced a sound bath before, I'll talk a little bit about what it is. And of course, as we, as we go along, you can always feel free to ask questions or we'll have some time for that at the end as well. So the reason that sound can be helpful is that it entrains the mind into a meditative state. So it also gives the mind something to focus on. So if anyone struggles to kind of, you know, when you're closing your eyes, you're sitting down to meditate, all these thoughts come rushing in. Of course, you have the breath you can focus on, you have the body, but it's really helpful to have some kind of anchor and sound can be that anchor. And as you focus on the sound, it also entrains the brain waves, helping the mind to downshift into more the theta and the alpha brainwave states, which of course is this beautiful place, kind of a lucid place where you're in between waking consciousness and you're almost slipping into the subconscious mind in a way. And what I found is that for people who are always on, this just helps them kind of downshift and spend some time just being. And so really what I'm interested in exploring with, um, with my practice is the intersection of sound and mindfulness and just giving place for a place and holding space for people to just be, to just be with themselves in sound uh, and see where that takes them. So I hope you get a taste of that today. Uh, a bit more background on, on my practice and, and the business. I've since brought on board um, a whole team of practitioners I work with. And with the pandemic, of course, I stopped the studio in person. And we've been doing everything online since last March. And so I have eight people that I work with. We have daily live streams, sometimes multiple live streams. So it's still this idea that whenever you feel you might need a bit of relaxation or something to take the edge off or you know, just a sound relaxation, um, we're here for you. So I'll just pause there. Um, I know that that was quite a lot. Um, if anyone has any burning questions you want to get out of the way, um, we can talk about it now. And otherwise, I think we can start to transition into the experience as well. And so I always begin my sessions with a short guided meditation and that's really where we get to activate uh, the mindfulness aspects of this practice. 
And so um, I would just invite you to follow along with the words. I'm sure you've all done this many times. Uh, at the end of the guided meditation is when I'll start to play the gongs, play all the different sounds, take you on a sound journey. And sometimes if you've never done this in a virtual setting, you'll notice that there is a little bit of distortion in the sound and maybe your internet isn't quite strong enough or maybe your headphones are bothering you. You know, there, there are lots of things that come up, can come up just as in any practice, of course, you know, even if you're sitting meditating, there could be a lawnmower outside or who knows what. So the invitation is just to welcome the entirety of your experience, to work with whatever circumstances you have today on this Friday before a long weekend, and just to be with that as much as you can. If at any point um, it's not feeling right to you, you're not comfortable, of course, you're always welcome to open the eyes, you're always welcome to take deep breaths. If it's not for you, you want to hop off, you know, you know how to take care of yourself. I'm hopefully creating a bit of space that you can step into and, and be there together in sound. Um, I would also invite, if it's really the sound isn't, isn't right for you, you can always lower it and make it really subtle in the background and stay with it. Because even by staying on this call together, there's a subtle exchange of energy, right? That I'm transmitting an intention to you above and beyond the sound. And you're also setting an intention to yourself. You've chosen to be here. You've chosen to be here together. So trust that and listen to that. And the sound will hopefully hold the space around it, but you can always lower the sound and tune into the more subtle exchange of energy that's going on. And that will all make more sense when we get started. So the invitation, stay with what is, welcome the entirety of your experience and be open to the uniqueness and the difference of this kind of sound. It's not music, there's no structure, no form, and your relationship with it will evolve as we go along. So I hope that's helpful for you. I'm not seeing any questions, so I think we can begin. So if those of you who have your cameras on at the moment want to turn them off for your privacy, you're welcome to do so if you want to turn them on. It's always nice to see people's faces, although my back will be turned at one point. So just do what's supportive for you in this moment. And then adjusting your headphones, adjusting the volume. Of course, you can always continue to adjust that if you need to when we get started. If you have something available to place over the eyes, if you're going to be going into darkness, that can sometimes be really supportive as well, because when we're not relying on the eyes, it changes our relationship with sound. And so even though I'll, I'll leave my video on, it's really not about watching a performance. It's really about being within yourself, having an experience, going deep, without relying on the eyes, which do so much for us already. Making sure you're warm now, making sure you're comfortable. And then allowing the body to settle. Allowing the mind to settle. And cultivating a sense of having arrived. Having arrived here in this experience together. Having arrived in your body, in your mind, letting the two even catch up with each other, bringing them onto the same plane, and arriving in the room that you're listening from today. So even if your eyes are closed, you can sense into the space around you, taking inventory of whatever might be there with you. Noticing any smells. Maybe there's kind of a neutral smell or a lack of smell even. Noticing any sounds that are inside the room with you or even outside the room, whether they're subtle or more strong, or maybe you're hearing extra sounds through the headphones, and knowing that that's all part of the experience welcoming what is. 
sensing into the air that is surrounding you, the air in the space that you're in. Noticing if it's cold or warm or neutral. Maybe you can even notice the contact between the air against the skin of your cheeks or the hands or any part of you that might be exposed. And then starting to draw your awareness to your body. Taking a moment here to just check in. Asking yourself, how am I doing in this moment? What's potent in my experience right now? And whatever comes up for you, maybe just labeling that with a word. Tired, happy, a word about emotions, or even labeling it with a color, if that makes sense to you in this moment. A yellow or a blue whatever feels right to you in this moment, holding that, accepting it, and creating some space around whatever you found that's with you right now. And in this moment, also acknowledging an intention, a reason for being here today. And I'm setting an intention for all of you of appreciation just knowing that you do so much to take care of others, to help them, to heal them, to make them whole. And this is an opportunity for you to receive. To send healing to yourself, or healing to anyone that you would like to dedicate this session to. And if healing isn't right for you in this moment, then just being, being with what is. So now with one big breath, letting go of that intention and letting go of any expectations, letting go of any sense of anticipation for what's yet to come and staying in this very moment by bringing your awareness to your breath. Starting to deepen the breathing. Seeing if you can draw the breath all the way down into the belly allowing the belly to rise and expand with the inhale and fall and relax with the exhale. And we'll take three deep breaths all together to synchronize our breathing. So ready, taking a really deep breath in, letting the belly rise, expand and exhale letting the belly relax, another deep breath in, belly rises, expands, and exhale, letting the belly relax. And the last one now, make this your deepest breath of the day so far, maybe of the week, inhaling, taking a little more air, all the way till you reach your maximum capacity, then pausing there for a moment, and then releasing, exhaling all the way until you can't exhale anymore. And then at the bottom of the exhale, allowing the breath to return to a natural rhythm, letting it come and go. And then drawing your awareness down and all the way down to the very tips of your big toes. Becoming aware of the middle toes, the pinky toes, the soles of your feet, the sides and the tops of the feet, the ankles and the heels. And noticing where the feet make contact with the ground, really tuning into the specific points of contact, feeling really grounded and really rooted down at the feet. And letting the legs get heavy, relaxing the left leg, 
<clears throat> the entire leg. Relaxing the right leg entirely. And then moving up to the hips and the lower back. Sensing here again the points of contact between you and the ground, <clears throat> you and whatever surface is beneath you. Getting grounded at your center of gravity. And then moving the awareness slowly up your spine, relaxing the mid back the upper back, the shoulders, the shoulder blades. Letting any tension that you find here just fall away, dissolve into the ground. And allowing your arms to soften, relaxing your wrists, hands, fingers, fingertips. Now moving your awareness up to your heart center, the very center of your chest. And just noticing what might be present there for you in this moment. And holding that with kindness, with care. And starting to cultivate a sense of warmth, a sense of openness receptivity, as we move up to the throat and the neck, relaxing the jaw, letting your tongue settle, letting your eyes settle, and allowing all the features of your face to soften, including the lips, cheeks, eyebrows, forehead, even the ears are relaxing, melting back into the pillow or the surface beneath you, behind you. Now bringing your awareness up to the very top of your head, pausing here for a moment. And then from the very top of your head, taking one last scan through the entire body until you reach the toes. Going really slowly with this. And as you scan the torso and the arms and the hands, the legs, the feet, just noticing any areas of tightness and tension and breathing into those areas. Also noticing any areas where you might find a bit more softness, a bit more space, and breathing into those areas. Allowing that softness to expand outwards, to take over your entire being. As a wave of relaxation comes over you. And you allow yourself to drift away a place of peace.
your body. Back to your breath. Starting to deepen the breathing. Allowing the breath to ground you, to flow through you as the experience settles. Taking a moment here in stillness and peace to check in with yourself again. Just noticing how you're feeling now. Bringing an anchor and a sense of calm and a sense of peace. Anything you found that you might want to keep with you into the evening and into the weekend. And then taking all the time that you need here, whenever it calls you to bring movement back, you can start to wiggle the fingers, the toes, make some circles with the wrists and the ankles, maybe starting to stretch the arms overhead, taking a really deep breath in, and a nice big sigh out. Just letting everything go. Bringing one hand to the heart and one to the belly, sealing in this experience. Offering yourself some appreciation for taking the time to just be, to join with your community in doing something good for you. Just honoring yourself. Letting that go. And if you'd like, you can bring the knees to the chest if you're still lying back, giving yourself a little hug, stretching out the back, and doing whatever feels right to you in this moment. You might like to roll over to one side and kind of spend a few more moments there, getting grounded and getting oriented before eventually making your way back up to sitting opening the eyes whenever it's right for you, taking in the light, reconnecting first with the physical space around you before bringing yourself back here to the screen, to the group, to the community, or more than just screen. <laughs> so thank you all very, very much for joining me today. It was really a pleasure to be with all of you and to share some sound as we all start to come around, I know in this moment you can feel all sorts of things. You might not feel like talking, you might not feel like engaging, you might just want to stay within yourself. So honor that if that's what's uh, coming up for you. Make sure to have a big glass of water after this experience. And I know you all are experts in taking care, so you'll know how to take care of yourself tonight. And um, if you have any questions about this, practice your experience. Um, I'm always open to talking and connecting, or if you'd ever like to collaborate on anything, um, I very much welcome that as well. So I hope this is uh, an opening, an open door, um, having further dialogues, further experiences all together here with the CNA. And um, yeah, it's been a true pleasure. So I think Janie popped the contact details down in the chat function. So please save those. Please get in touch. I would love to know how you found it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the great, all of it. <laughs> we welcome all of it. Um, and since you're all professionals in the space, I really value um, feedback and perspectives from, from all of you. So with that, <laughs> if anyone would like to come on camera or chat questions, I welcome that. Otherwise, I can also pass it over to Jamie and the team. Great, Thanks, Selma. Thank you so very, very much. Um, what I'll do is I will just pop us all onto gallery view. You don't have to, as Selma says, you don't have to um, say anything or do anything. Uh, but I mean, I just want to say a huge thank you to you, Selma, um, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, gosh, that went deep. <laughs>
That was my experience anyway. Um, it was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so very much. And, and obviously I invite anybody else, you know, if you would like to, if you feel moved to unmute yourself, then please do so. Or if you just wish to leave perhaps, a, you know, or ask a question if you wish to, or leave a comment in the chat box as many of you have done already. Um, and while you're doing that, I'll just take a little look just to make sure that I haven't missed any questions um or anything at all i think um oh yeah uh jason said do we do you have a page or link for the online baths and so i typed in just quickly about gong.com selma is there is there any other way that you would like people to contact you or is that the best way sure so if you'd like to join for more experiences about gong.com there's a book tab that's the best way um, but i also definitely welcome direct communication to my email selma at aboutgong.com and it would be really great to to hear from some of you there so whichever way we're also on instagram that's probably the channel we use the most at gong stories so um would be lovely to connect and, and follow each other and what see what all of you are up to as well uh, Selma, was that at Gong Stories? Gong Stories, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, so please do say hi there. Also, the messages go direct to me. Um, I manage it myself for now, so um, it would be great Yay. to hear from all of you there too. And thank you, Janie, very much for, for this opportunity. It's, it's really a pleasure and I feel deeply honoured. Oh, no, no. Thank you so much for, for coming and, and, and for sharing this incredible work, Selma. The thing is, actually, with these sessions, as, as I'm sure everybody knows, I think most people here, most people here are regulars. We normally run these sessions and they are usually focusing on things like business development. It's all very sort of go, go, go. Even for a Friday afternoon, it's still very go, 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 you know, very dynamic and, and so on. And this is dynamic, of course, also, but in a very, very different way. And I just feel that it's just been a beautiful compliment to the sort of thing that we run normally. I guess my question for you actually, Selma, is, uh, and I'm sure possibly lots of other people will be wondering the same thing, is if they want more of the same, how do we, uh, obviously I know you've got the website and so on, but how often do you run your online sessions? Um, because I know I for one would love to attend. Sure, yeah, so great question, thank you for that. Um, we have sessions every day, so I have a whole team um, everyone has different instruments, different styles, different energy, different setups. So there's a gong bath at least once a day, usually around 8 o'clock at night. The ones I personally do are Fridays at lunchtime, just a 30-minute session, Saturdays at 8 o'clock. Most sessions are 45 minutes, so you know hopefully they can fit into whatever you have going on in your home and work life. Um, and so all that whole schedule. Oh, and we're also doing in-person sessions. For anyone who's London-based, we're resuming in-person sessions um, in different spaces. So I don't have the studio that we used to have in Clerkenwell, but we're partnering with yoga studios and other venues. So all those details are on the, the book tab of, of the website. So we'd love to see some of you in person. Thank you. And then we're also open to collaborations, of course, and, you know, um, additional events on top of our regular sessions so fantastic thank you so very much that's absolutely lovely any any final questions anybody i'm sure everybody's just so blissed out right now <laughs> you know it's just just let it go let it let it wash over you but uh, if you have any any final questions um you know obviously drop them in the box or obviously you can send them through to Selma or through to me. Um, and also just in, in closing, I would also just like to in, uh, just introduce everybody to Lauren. Uh, Lauren, if you could give us all a quick wave. Hi, <laughs> that's our lovely Lauren, who is actually joining the CMA. Um, she's a little bit early because she's actually not officially joining us until the 1st of June. But, I, you know, Lauren very kindly has, uh, you know, just, just participated this afternoon. So many of you will hear from Lauren at, uh, you know, sort of in, in due course and, and so on. So it's really nice, I think, always to put a face to the name. So, so that's our lovely Lauren John who's joining us. If anybody ever needs to get hold of Lauren at all, Lauren is, is really very much stepping into Roberta's role. Um, and uh, so if you ever need to get hold of Lauren for any reason, she's lauren at v-cma.org.uk. Uh, Lauren, if you would like to type your, your details into the chat, that would be really, really helpful. But bear in mind, don't um, don't um, overwhelm Lauren because she's still training. Um, so if you still need to get hold of 
any of us for sort of admin type questions, um, then obviously the easy option is to call us, is to phone our, we have a, a free phone number 0800 841 1066, which obviously is a nod to us being in Hastings. Well, me, me my office is in Hastings. And um, also, of course, um, the Roberta's email address is still the main admin address until we, we've got Lauren trained up and, and onboarded properly. So if you need to get hold of anybody, then you can always just you know use the same normal Roberta at the dash cma.org.uk. Um, or for me, if you need to get hold of me at all, it's Jamie remembering the very peculiar spelling of my first name, J-A-Y-N-E-Y. -E or of course, message us on social, that's always another option for you. So thank you. And, oh, so that's absolutely lovely. Thank you so, so much for being together this afternoon, everybody. Um, it is truly appreciated. And Selma, honestly, I, I'm just in absolute awe. That was, it was incredible. It really, truly was. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, your energy is just amazing. And um, your, what, what you're offering today was so heartfelt and so extraordinary. And I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, Jamie. Really appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I'd just like to wish you a beautiful uh, weekend coming up, uh, whatever you're doing. And uh, let's hope that the sun decides to shine. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Lots of love to you all. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.